Thanks everyone here. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to introduce our work Mira, leveraging multi-intention co-click information in web scale document retrieval using deep neural networks. This work is from Microsoft, and the authors from engineers and Bing and researcher in MSRA. In traditional web search, given a query, the documents are retrieved from large candidate corpus based on the relevant score. Typically in industrial search engine, document information could come from several sources such as anchor, URL, title and click, etc. Here is an example of typical deep model in recall procedure. Unlike queries, Siamese encoder extracts the representation of documents from multiple meta streams. After getting the representation of query and document independently, the model calculate the similarity of query and document by metric function. Among meta streams that document used, the click stream has been proved to be one of the most important features as it directly indicates user feedbacks. The reason why the click plays a so important role are as following. Sometimes the semantic similarity between a document and a query cannot be reflected from the similarity between their meta contexts such as title, body. But the documents which are clicked by the same query may help. Thus it provides us the feasibility to get potential information for a specific document understanding from other similar documents through co-click relationship. For example, the query how would lines of credit help business and match doc card is similar literally, but from the co-click history, we could indicate their similarity in some respects. Using co-click information in deep search model is not trivial. Because it has too much noise, and the noise in co-click relations mainly lies in the following aspects. The first one is false clicks. User false clicks may connect irrelevant queries and documents. The second one is multi-intentions. One document may contain many aspects and users may only interest in specific part of them. As a result users may click the same document with different search intentions. For example, one document whose text is amazing men's gothic t-shirts black rose may be clicked by users interested in two different intentions, gothic t-shirt or black rose t-shirt. Thus, the information introduced from a historical click may become noise when the document is searched by a query belonging to another intention. The third one is semantic difference. Even if two single intention documents have the same click, there might be differences in their semantics. For example two documents with themes how high is Mount Everest and how many countries have climbed Everest may have the same click Mount Everest. In this paper, we focus on the web scale web search problem in industrial environment and aim at enriching document text through co-click relations to improve the retrieve quality. We first build the web scale co-click graph based on real click log and extract neighbors for each document as complementary information. To handle the noise in traditional click bipartite graph, we proposed a novel multi-intention co-click graph and a Siamese deep model based on BERT and graph attention networks. We conduct extensive experiments on three real web scale dataset to demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed compared with several baselines. For traditional co-click graph, each node represents one document with the full text as its node features, each edge represents two documents have at least one common click. However, each document may have some clicks that belong to different intentions, while the user query is often very specific. As a result the traditional co-click graph may involve much noise if neighbor documents are taken as features due to its coarse grained nodes. As shown in figure, we have five documents and each of them contains one title and may have several clicks that may belong to different intentions. When encoding the target document, if we take all its two hop neighbors into consideration, we can get all the nodes appeared in left part as complementary information. However, if a user searches t-shirt with roses, although the target document is one perfect match result for this query, the neighbor documents connected to it through click gothic t-shirts men's will only provide irrelevant information. Moreover, this multi-intention noise will rapidly enlarge with the expansion of the neighbor's hop. All these irrelevant neighbor information will do harm to the semantic encoding. To handle the multi-intention noises in traditional co-click graph, 
we propose the multi-intention co-click graph mic for a better neighbor connection. The key idea of the mic is to characterize and divide the clicks of each document into different intention groups based on token level jacquard similarity, then we build the graph based on click intention group level but not on document level. More detail of click group algorithm you could reference in our paper. We formally propose our encoding model MIRA based on neural networks and graph convolution networks with a two-factor attention mechanism, which follows the Siamese architecture to independently derive query and document embedding. The Siamese base model to capture the similarity between main document meta streams and the query. And the graph neural network model to extract co-click neighbor topology features. It is worth noting that our framework does not have special restrictions on the choice of base model. Any model can meet our needs as long as it satisfies the Siamese architecture, and can encode the query and document into vector respectively. In this paper, we adopt a Siamese architecture just like previous work sentence BERT as our base model, since they have achieved SOTA on some sentence pair embedding benchmarks. As shown in this figure, the base model mainly consists of three components, a shared embedding layer to fully leverage word semantic information, a BERT-based query encoder and a BERT-based document encoder. To incorporate the neighbor texts into main document embedding, we propose to use Graph Attention Network to extract features from its neighbors. To meet the demands of web-scale document encoding, we adopt an inductive training method. We firstly build calculation subgraph for each node. Note here we only take the one hop neighbor in each layer due to the precise information requirements and in information retrieval. Then we introduce how our model generate embedding for one node based on its local neighbors with a layer-wise attention convolve operation. For each node, we concatenate all the texts from different sources it contains as input. Then the text sequence is tokenized and fed into the embedding layer. After that, we add poemine pooling and further extract features from the representation with a dense neural network and GELU activation. Next, the graph neural network needs an aggregation step to collect neighbor information. We use attention network to perform self-attention on each node's neighbors to compute how important they are to that node. For each document, we stack multi-attention convolve layers corresponding to its neighbor subgraph. In addition, we also apply multi-head graph attention. In web search scenario, we argue that only using traditional graph attention network as an indicator to represent neighbor correlation is not enough. Basically speaking, the relevance between two documents can be measured in two aspects, term matching and semantic similarity. As for traditional graph attention network like equation 1, it concatenates the main vector and the neighbor vector and then evaluates the correlation through full dimensional vector interaction in the same latent space. This full interaction could be more helpful in getting the semantic similarity, but is relatively weak in evaluating the term matching. However, sometimes exact term matching is more important in IR for evaluating similarities. So we further propose dot product factor like equation 2 to measure neighbor importance from term match perspective. The intuition is that if two documents have many same terms in their texts, then their vectors will be highly similar in some dimensions, although they may be different in other dimensions. Such partial dimensional similarity can be amplified and measured by dot product. Next we combine these two correlation indicators together as a two-factor attention mechanism. It can be formulated as equation 3. To demonstrate whether and how our proposed MIRA framework can lead to relevance gains in product search, we conduct a comprehensive suite of experiments based on large-scale real-world datasets. We compared our model with the graph-based methods, Siamese base model and our own model variants. We take the graph-based model VPCG as our real baseline which also leverages click graph for document retrieval. Besides we evaluate the Siamese base model to demonstrate that our proposed framework can indeed make improvement on top of it. Our experiments are conducted on three real search engine datasets, including two public datasets, the Trek 2020 DL Track 4 and the Jiangong Street, one private web scale dataset collected from Bing.
Specifically, to explain our insights in detail, we break down this principal research question into three individual ones to guide our experimental study. Question 1. How does co-click information improve document quality compared to the state-of-the-art retrieval models? Question 2. How does the two-factor attention benefits neural models in alleviating the false click and semantic difference noise? Question 3. How does our proposed MIC benefits neural models in eliminating the multi-intention co-click noise? To answer question 1, we firstly compare with the graph-based model and Siamese-based model. Comparing with the graph-based model like VPCG, as table we can see VPCG is not so competitive. We argue that the reason is that Mira could better handling the long tail click distribution by subwords encoding and deep neural networks. Compared with Siamese base model, on top of Siamese BERT base model, our proposed method can further achieve better retrieval quality. Next, to answer question 2 and question 3 and demonstrating the effectiveness of MIC and two-factor attention mechanism in our model, we compare our framework with its variants and show the results in table. Let's take Bing dataset as an example. Without multi-intention co-click graph, the Mira tradition reduces the gains which Mira can bring by 60% in NCG metrics. This reveals the effectiveness of our proposed MIC in handling multi-intention noises. Besides, the two-factor attention mechanism plays an important role in our framework. We can see the Mira no attention only has a little improvement compared with Siamese BERT model, while Mira GAT can achieve more gains. The comparison of Mira and Mira GAT demonstrating that involving two-factor attention based on GAT to emphasize the role of exact term matches in semantic query document matching can indeed bring decent NCG gains. The case study reveals that the improvement from co-click information mainly comes from two aspect, key concept enhancing and query term complementary. In case of key concept enhancing, the query is FM database, which contains two concepts FM and database. However, the good document contains a lot of other concepts, such as FM inside net and best wonder kids. This information has nothing to do with the core content of the document itself and will add bias to the document's vector in the vector space if model can't distinguish them from the key concepts. When the neighbor information helps, the situation becomes very different. Both the two neighbor texts we introduce through the co-click relationship contains a lot of term text FM and database, especially the database that appears only twice in the original text. In the case of query term complementary, the main document is mainly about small business funding. It contains the content which is related to the query in the body so it is human labeled as a good document. But this match information couldn't reflect from its multi-source text. And the semantic correlation between query and text is somehow too weak for model to capture. However, with the help of co-click information, the terms line of credit and business in the first neighbor text serve as a bridge between query and the original good document. Thanks for everyone careful listening.